What's going on guys? So today's video I actually got Billy back for another video. Hi guys, how are you So doing? you may have seen him in the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Have to have this in front of me because yeah, what a mouthful that is. So I keep getting that wrong. So Billy stated in that video that you actually like what kind of fragrances? I like more of the, uh, the lemony, citrony, uplifting, refreshing scents. So Okay, so clean, fresh, out of the yeah. shower type of fragrances. Yeah. Yeah. So I actually got 10 fragrances here, so that they're all pretty much uh, citrus, fresh, clean type of scents. Okay. So we got five designers, five niches, so we're actually going to get Billy's uh, nose on to which one that he prefers the most. It's pretty much just like every other smell and rate that I do, but just for the fresh, clean department. So let's get this started right now. First, first scent is going to be Mola Legend Spirits. So some of these cost as low as fifteen dollars, while some, oh, okay. while some of them cost as high as two fifty. Okay. So in my mind, I, I would never spend two fifty on a small bottle of cologne. I'm not a cologne connoisseur. No. My experience with colognes is usually our version of, because I usually wear it just to go to work or something like that. But no. I do have a few luxury bottles when I go to dinner or going out with the wife or something like that. I get it. So Momo Legend Spirit, and we're gonna pair it off with. Arance di Capri from Acqui di Parma. Okay, so which one? Okay, so we have Arancia in the right, and we're gonna have mm -hmm. the uh, Mont Blanc in your left hand. So which one do you? I personally prefer this one here. Okay, it's got more of a I want to say citrony, um, a citrus. Okay, zing to it. It's got more zing than this one. This one's a flatter, fresher. Um, more of a light scent. Okay. This has more of a focus to it. Yeah, so the Mont Blanc is lighter. Okay, so Arancia di Capri goes on to the next next one. Arancia being orange. I think you smell the orange in it. And the next one is going to be Atelier P Pomelo Paradis. So this one here, you can actually smell this in some of the Sephoras. So Pomelo Paradis in the right. Do you prefer that or the Arancia? Actually, it just it smells a little stronger than the Arancia. Okay. I prefer the Arancias. All right, then. So this is actually, when it comes to the house of um, Atelier, this is actually my favorite. But we do have another Atelier in it. So the next one is going to be John Barbados Artisan Aqua. Okay, so this is just a little travel spray, okay. just like uh, the Pomelo was. So do you like that one or do you like the Aranci? Which no, is I still in... like the Aranci. Okay. Next one is going to be Lacoste L1212 Jaune or Yellow. Hmm. I know it's kind of funny, but it's toss up whether you like the orange or the lemon. Okay. And I usually gravitate towards the, the lemony citron right. as opposed to the orange citron. So these are both very nice scents that I would wear, but I have to go with the Jaune. I'm sorry. This one here? Yeah. All right, so this here actually costs about 150 to 160 dollars at Holt Renfrew. Wow. Yeah. All right, nice so sound. that is the Jaune for the Lacoste. So Arancia had a good run. Very good. Next one is going to be Tommy Bahama Set Sail Saint Bart's. Oh, sounds good. All right. <laughs> sounds like a nice beachy scent. Well, I'm not saying anything. Going on vacation with the wife in about a month, so. So that that there's Tommy Bahama, and the left is going to be. Still the lemon, the, the genre. The Lacoste. Which one do you prefer? Still Lacoste. Okay. It, it's fresh and it's it's lively. Okay. But for lack of a better term, I can't find a focus. Okay. It's just fresh and lively, but it doesn't smell like this or like that. Okay. It's just fresh on the nose. This is twelve to fifteen dollars. Okay. So it's got no focus. <laughs> Next one is gonna be from the House of ATD, Bergamot Soleil. Okay, so Ooh. that's in your right, and this is going to be in your left. Which one do you prefer? Actually, this is a lot more fun. Yeah? Yeah, I like the Jean. I like the lemony citrony, but this this really plays with your nose a lot more. It gives you a lot more sense to okay. try to differentiate. Okay. That's very playful. All, All right, right, so yeah, that's... Atelier wins, and wow. we're going to pair it off against Aqua di Parma Merto di Panera. So we did have another Aqua de Parma, that was the Arancia. So they're from the same company in the mm -hmm. same line. One is orange and this one is much more lime. 
So these two are actually niche fragrances. Okay. So considered luxury, they're a little bit more expensive. Mm -hmm. I would still go with this one. All right. This is. It's nice. It, um, it's, a, it's a little deeper. It's a little. There's there's more to this one than yeah. yeah to if it were music, it would have more bass. It would be you'd feel it more than you hear it. Okay. Next one, Perry Ellis Aqua Extreme. Okay, so Perry Ellis in the left and the Atelier in the right. This is a. Uh, this is just smells like a stronger version of the uh, the Bahama one. Okay, Tony Bahama says it. Bahama, yeah. Okay. It's, uh, I, knows I can't find a focus to it, but okay. it's got that fresh playfulness, and it's just a general playfulness to it. I get it. it. But it, it smells very similar, just much stronger. Okay. It, it hits you a little harder than the Tommy Bahama does. Well, which one do you prefer? I still prefer the... Okay. The so the last one is going to be Xenia Sicilian Mandarin. That sounds like it's got a focus to it. So... Let's just see. So, will this knock off uh, Atelier's Bergamont Soleil? So, Bergamont... So that is in your left, mm -hmm. and the Xenia is in your right. Which one do you prefer? I like the Bergamot better. Oh, sorry, the, the Italian. No, so, like so this one wins? I think so. That would, that's my favorite so far. This has more of an oaky focus to it. Okay. More of a woody scent. More of a masculine going out to dinner scent. Interesting. Whereas the, uh, the Bergamot is just generally more playful. Your nose is trying to figure out where all these scents are. Okay. And they're all fresh and playful. And I like that. All right. So. But this is the winner, right? That's my. I, I would wear that on a more regular basis. Okay. I like, it, I like that. All right. So the winner is Atelier's Bergamot Soleil. So Billy, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna decant Billy five mLs of this, so it's just so you can have a. Uh, so I can wear what I like. There you go. <laughs> and I'm gonna smell nice and fresh. So guys, that's it. So we actually got Billy to smell it and rate summer fresh fragrances. Billy, thank you very much once thank again. You. Guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Share the video. Subscribe if you haven't. And. We'll see you later. Take care and have a good one, guys. Bye.